Hey, welcome everyone to the new video series. In this video series, we are going to create a two-wheeled robot from scratch and use ROS to program it. The robot will contain various sensors like accelerometer, gyro sensor, camera, and lot more. We are going to implement various algorithms on it and also learn various concepts of ROS. So before starting, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as I bring such an interesting video every week. So let's get started. To ensure I had everything I needed, I started by brainstorming and finalizing the component required for the robot. The list included two 44mm N20 DC gear motor wheels, a N20 12V 40rpm micro metal gear motor with an encoder, a metal ball caster wheel, mounting bracket for the motor, and an ESP32, among other items. All the necessary components are listed in the robot's documentation. Next, I used CAD Katia to design the robot and assembled all the components in the design, allowing me to finalize the position of all the parts. Once the design was complete, it was time to 3D print some of the parts. So I went to my self-designed 3D printer and printed it. To assemble the robot, I began by mounting the N20 12V motor to the base with the help of the mounting bracket, then attached the wheels. I also added caster wheel using 3D printed spacers. With the base complete, I moved on to the electronics. I mounted 10mm standoffs on the base and then attached the motor driver. To connect all the sensors and other peripherals on the single board, I took a piece of prototype PCB and soldered all the components in place. After completing the electronic assembly, the final result looked like this. As a next step, I 3D printed an assembly to hold the battery and proceeded to attach the ultrasonic sensor MPU6050 and camera mount to the robot. Once all the components were in place, the robot was finally complete. Overall, I am quite pleased with the result of my systematic process. The robot is capable of performing a variety of tasks thanks to the sensor and peripherals I used, including the motor, encoder and ESP32. With its solid construction and functional design, I am looking forward to putting my robot to test. And it's time for testing. <laughs> 